and it's time for Hot Topic Wednesday and in my cup tonight I have spiced chamomile. For those of you who regularly view my channel you will know that Hot Topic Wednesday was a, an event that happened on my Derp Guru account but I have now moved it to my Barefoot Soul account because I want to keep my life separate. I want to have gaming videos in one place and vlogging in another um, except for game gaming vlogging so trips to insomnia etc etc I have tried to vlog this four times already so forgive me forgive me forgive me forgive my big spot on my forehead it's nothing like vlogging to make you really aware of you know your imperfections I could go and put makeup on I could go and cover my big spot and the bags under my eyes but it's 9 35 at night and I'm hardly going to put makeup on to have a chat to you with a cup of tea if you were here in my house I wouldn't rush to put makeup on to have a chat with you you would just have to suffer the glaring spot today's hot topic I wanted to talk about free speech I made a status on my Facebook page the other day it was in reference to Dr Tenpenny and her trip to Australia her studies of vaccines and why parents perhaps should not vaccinate their children now before we go any further and before you start yelling at the screen and throwing things at me I just want to make this very clear this video is not about whether you should or you should not vaccinate your children okay because those decisions are your decisions to make and I am not going to try one way or another to say anything about that because it's really not my business to but this video is about free speech and I was really horrified actually to find that Dr Tenpenny was not being allowed to speak in Australia she was actually going to Australia to speak she was going on holiday when people who had read her research found out that she was going to Australia on holidays they invited her to come and speak but that actually wasn't why she was going to Australia she was going on holiday so now the petition for the revoking of her visa for her holiday is in the hands of the Australian government I think or if not in the hands of the Australian government they're trying to still get signatures it just seems really wrong that you would deny people the chance to f to hear um, what she has to say and it worries me a little bit because this time it's vaccines you're now not allowed to have vitamins or, or take natural medicines of any format because actually we don't think that's right or you can't be that religion that you like you, ca you can't do that because we don't agree with that religion so it really frustrates me that Australia has gone that way Australia does not have explicit freedom of speech in any constitutional or statutory declaration of rights with the exception of political speech which is protected from criminal criminal prosecution at common law there is however implied freedom of speech it just seems a little bit controlling regardless of the topic it worries me that the Australian public actually turns on each other a little bit as well I really didn't like that story <laughs> and I think that some of this has to do with my belief that people should be autonomous and should be able to make choices and should be able to make informed choices for their lives and I think it's dangerous when we start taking knowledge away from people and saying that we 
we can only they can only make choices based on the information that we spoon feed them i find that really worrying but more worrying is that the australian public buy into that really that you can only make choices you my fellow neighbor can only make choices based on the information that you are spoon fed or you can piece together on the internet yeah feels just a little bit controlling and I really struggle with that I really do like I really really do because this is just one topic like vaccination is just a drop in the bucket when it comes to topics that this could actually apply to you know once these kinds of precedences have been set yeah I, I find I find that disconcerting we don't want you to be educated people we are worried about you when you self-educate no wonder home education is as tightly controlled in Australia as it is and is becoming more and more tightly controlled anyway that's a whole other topic for another day. So freedom of speech, do you value it? Do you only value it when you like what people are talking about? Where does hate speech fit into that? And where does satire fit into hate speech? That kind of worries me a little bit as well, that, that there might be some kind of crossover between hate speech and satire because I like people that keep the bastards honest. I really do. And I like when things are challenged, even if that's my religion, because there's lots of things that go on that I don't like. And so I think it's good to be challenged where does that line happen I don't know I've been thinking a lot about that lately because we can be offended by all kinds of things but should we be offended by all kinds of things I don't know these are my questions of the day how free do you like your speech what is hate speech for you? And where does the line start and finish between hate speech and satire? I don't know. But I have been giving it a lot of thought. So anyway, I've been Rhea. This has been a bit of a ramble. And I apologise. It's very hard to know what to say about these things because because you're bound to offend somebody. Anyway. Catch on the flip side. Bye.